things that make you go, hmm. What's up, guys? Cast one here. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about uh, Battlefield 3 beta. Uh, how are you guys enjoying the beta? I'm having a, me, I'm having a pretty good time playing it. It's very interesting. Uh, uh, I've been uh, looking around YouTube at other people's videos and uh, on the Battlefield blog. I went on there. And from that, I, I've, I've seen a lot of people concerned, and rightly so, that... And this beta has been very um, glitchy, buggy. Some say it's the most uh, buggiest beta they ever played, and there are um, <clears throat> tons of bugs in there. And they're concerned that uh, when the game comes uh, out October 25th, it'll have all these problems still in the game. And if you know me, that's one of my biggest beef with the gaming industry is uh, rushing games that um, that's not fixed they just bring it out uh, so they can make a quick buck and then it'll take them three or four or five patches to fix it so that's like a month and a half after launch that's when we actually get the game that they were designing you know but excuse me um, dice I, I have uh, confidence in dice that you know they'll when the game comes out uh, October 25th, it'll probably be uh, vastly improved over the beta because or already you can see that they've been working on it. Um, the other night, uh, I noticed that you know, like the ground glitch when you go prone, like you will go like under the map. Uh, they seemed that they fixed that. You know, I didn't experience that because I heard that they were working on it, trying to fix it so you can see that you know they they really working hard on this title so um I, i'm just confident that when we do get the game it'll, it'll we shouldn't experience all this uh, glitch I, I i would be uh shocked if uh dice didn't fix this game uh to make it almost run very smoothly it's not going to be perfect at launch you know now nowadays none of these games these big triple a titles uh, are going to be perfect but uh almost certain that they'll do a uh, a great job and uh will be um bugs here and there but uh, i think that it'll still be enjoyable to play but this video isn't about um you tell uh, just about beta when it's launched. Uh, I wanted uh, to talk to you guys about something I've noticed playing the beta, and uh, I didn't understand exactly why, but I gave it some more thought, and I think I know. Uh, what I noticed that, as you can see, we only have one map in the beta, but I noticed in the map there is um, no vehicles and no tanks. No ATVs, no helicopters, nothing. And um, there's less teamwork going on here in the beta. Like everybody pretty much lone wolfs, lo lone wolfs it. You know, try to be their their uh, the super soldier. And very little destruction. Like no buildings. You know, um, I've seen collapse or anything like that. You no, know, and the maps here in the subway is sort of maze type maps. You no, know, it doesn't have the battlefield uh, feel to it. You know, and I was wondering why would um, Dice do something like that? Bring out the beta for their new game, Battlefield, and and it feels strange. You know, uh, I I got to thinking, and I said, you know. This beta really isn't for Battlefield players because they are almost certain that you will buy this game if you're a Battlefield player. If you play Bad Company a lot or or Battlefield 2, you coming from there, they're almost certain that yes, you we already have you. You're gonna uh, um, buy this game. So they made this beta really for uh, other people, other first-person sh shooters, uh, mostly COD. Call of Duty players, so they trying to 
they took out the vehicles so it makes them a little bit easier for them to adjust you know so but to me I really didn't like this tactic that DICE is using because it's almost like false advertisement you know if uh, I was a Call of Duty player and really never played uh, Battlefield and I uh, downloaded this beta and started trying it then I would say you know what uh, maybe I like it, but when the game comes out and launch, you'll have to deal with tanks and uh, choppers, and, and it'll be like, wait a minute, when I play the beta, these weren't really in there. And I know that some modes, they're going to have no vehicles, you know, but I don't know how uh, popular those will be, because to me, if you take out vehicles in destruction out of battlefield then it becomes really stale you know it would be better if you just play COD you know Call of Duty has that infantry um, style combat uh, down to a science they do it wonderfully and I really don't see uh, how you can enjoy battlefield even without the the big maps the destructions and uh, of the vehicles so, uh, so that's one thing I think like Dice uh, could have changed here. Also, um, one one thing I, I wish they could have, if they were gonna do it this way, they could have gave us two maps. You know, one uh, with vehicles, so at least the battlefield people, the veterans, would have something to really test out the game. Because I almost feel like we're really not even testing out Battlefield. Uh, Three. This is like a this is Battlefield Three um, COD friendly version, you know, to help uh, try to convince more of them to come over. So, uh, to what I was saying, I think they should have made it. They had two maps, um, one of them with vehicles and tanks, the true Battlefield uh, feeling feel to it, and they have a new mode, um, Team Deathmatch. They should have made that where you have no vehicles. So, Call of Duty players would have uh, went to the Team Deathmatch and try that and uh, see how they like that. And we, as veteran Battlefield players, could still have our game, uh, Conquest. I know they're going to probably do that in the release, but I just would like it if they had that in the beta. Because playing this beta one map, no vehicles, no... This not much destruction. It gets a little bit boring after a while. I remember I'm playing it kind of less and less, you know, because it's starting to be uh, repetitive, you know. It's very similar to Call of Duty, how, how you play it over and over and over, and after a while, you know, all matches blend in together. You don't know which one. But that that's my thing. I, I really wish DICE, you know, had... Uh, change their strategy where they could have made it um, a little bit uh, more honest because I just feel uh, this is like a little trick trying to get the card players to get into it but anyway that, that's my thoughts you guys let me know um, your thoughts if you agree that hey you know this beta you feel like it's more geared towards uh, card players and other people of other first person shooters and it doesn't quite have the Battlefield feel or the Bad Company 2 feel. So you let me know in comments. Alright guys, and remember, there can only be one, cast one. Thomas, out!